First, let's take a look at the electric pump. Pump motors are available for any local current, voltage, and frequency needed. The most common in the U.S. is 120 volts, 60 hertz, connected to at least a 15 amp circuit. Check your local requirements to ensure compatibility. The newest versions of the electric pumps in the U.S. come with a 20 amp plug to ensure enough current is available. The standard electric pump comes with a reservoir which should be filled to the fill mark or the middle of the sight glass indicator with 46 grade ISO 46 hydraulic oil which comes shipped with a new pump. A drain plug is provided. Oil should be changed after about 40 to 60 hours of runtime, depending on continuous use, temperatures, and dusty or humid environments. As long as the oil is clear and amber colored, it is probably okay, but if it is turned dark due to heat or cloudy due to dirt or humidity, it should be changed immediately. There are no filters for you to maintain, but the single most important thing you can do to prolong the useful life of the pump is to change the oil as needed. Standard pumps come with four sets of male-female couplers which allow up to four wrenches to be connected at the same time. The couplers feature check ball fittings which must be completely engaged for oil to flow. This is an important safety feature of these high pressure units. The couplers screw together with about three-eighths of an inch thread length. But if they were to loosen even a sixteenth of an inch, the oil would be immediately stopped protecting the operator from the possibility of a high-pressure oil injection. Do not defeat this safety feature by changing or modifying the fittings. The key feature of the pump is the ability to adjust its pressure. As the knob on the regulator is screwed in, the output pressure increases. Unscrewing the knob lowers the pressure. Note that there is a locking nut under the regulator knob to keep it from vibrating loose. By limiting the pressure the pump will generate, we control the maximum torque output of the wrench. Until the pressure is reset, every nut and bolt will receive exactly the same torque. We will show you how this is done in a few moments. Output pressure is measured on a gauge which is calibrated to plus or minus 3% accuracy when new. Most gauges can and should be recalibrated, usually at least once per year, if they are to be used on critical work where accuracy is essential. Another important accessory on the pump is the remote control. The length of the remote control cable should be as long as the hydraulic hoses. The standard length is 15 feet or 5 meters, but longer cables and hoses are available to provide greater range for the operator. The remote control cable carries only 24 volts, making it safe against the possibility of a dangerous electrical shock. Some models have a rocker switch with a set button. The pump will not turn on until the set button is pushed and released. Once the set button is pushed, advance the rocker switch one notch to turn on the pump motor. The spring-loaded rocker is then alternately pressed and released to advance and reverse the oil flow, ratcheting the wrench. The newest model pumps have an improved control unit. Turn on the master switch at the electrical box. This button turns the motor on and cycles the pump to advance and retract the wrench. The other button turns the pump off. The pump is connected to the wrenches by a very special set of high-pressure hoses. The best of these will have a stainless steel braid construction. Always ensure that the hoses are rated for 10,000 PSI working pressure. This should be clearly printed on the hoses themselves. If you do not see that notation on the hoses, do not use them and get them out of the area so that no one else will. A ruptured hose could spray high pressure oil, which could penetrate skin, causing severe medical problems. Damaged or kinked hoses should never be used and must not be repaired. A damaged hose should be cut into pieces and thrown away. The danger of a repair failure is too great a risk to run.